What do you think about the whole 5G thing? I don't know. I got a, vid- a video sent through to me today, and it was like, first of all, I'm listening to it, and this, and I'm th- apparently it was some retired Vodafone employee or whatever that's, you know, I, I don't know. I don't know who it was supposed to be, but he was supposed to be someone of authority. And I'm listening to it, and for the first sort of 10 minutes, there's a lot of stuff he's saying. I'm like, oh, this is interesting. This is interesting. And then he went off on a God, God plan tangent. Oh. Immediately, I'm like, oh, now I feel like I've got someone standing at the front door trying to sell me a book. And yeah. it kind of put me off it. I, I, I don't know, man. I don't, I don't know. I mean, the whole phone radiation thing, as we know, is, is not good anyway. Like, I, I, I put my phone in flight mode at night when I'm asleep just to give my brain a break from the waves. Um, there's definitely some shit to it, for sure. And I, and, I, and I don't think we fully understand the energies that we're dealing with right now either. And I think there's a lot more to be understood about it. We, like everyone's always got the attitude that that like we we've cur- we currently know everything. Like, and if you go back 50 years, scientists thought they knew everything then as well. And it's yeah. like like we're constantly finding new shit out. And we I just think we we're developing technology so fast that we're not fully understanding what it, what it's capable of, what it's doing. Like the 5G towers that they're putting around. Like from what I understand on social media, people around the world are already starting to destroy them. Like, so I don't know whether that is paranoia or what, but it's, yeah. it seems to be spreading quite quickly. And I think people are afraid of a lot of things at the moment, and, and anything that could be a legitimized target, you know, is, is going to be targeted over the next few, few weeks and months, depending on how long this lasts. Is this when we can get, get rid of people that you don't really like, then? Is it like when you can put something out there into the world and be like, it's my mum's boyfriend that's causing this, <laughs> just, to, just to see if someone bumps them off? Because like, the thing is, no matter what you say, if you say that this is all caused by mystery playing Fortnite on a Wednesday, there will be someone out there that believes it, yeah. unfortunately. unfortunately. And I'm not saying it's going to be a lion's share, but there'll be one or two people that'll be like, fucking hell, well, we best stop him playing it on a Wednesday because it's bollocks. It's the same, it's, it's, it's all like, like you were saying about when someone tries to force in their like God's plan. I always feel like it's a bit of an easy cop-out. You know, when you're working in fact, you can't work in fact and fiction at the same time because that kind of doesn't work when you're trying to justify a point. But it's 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 one of them where pro- the problem is, like you were saying about scientists, it, we know all the good stuff and the bad stuff, but even though we know the bad stuff, we still let it happen. So like things like smoking. I smoked cigarettes for 11 years, and that was from 1997, 98 to whenever to 2009 or whatever right so i smoked for a long time but it wasn't good it was really she, she's fucking flying smashing it mate it's ridiculous it's ridiculous like, are you, it's are more you important you know what a rank for is um she does now though i mean this has oh. been an educational process there is the rank or pit and and just just while we're just while i've distracted um the subject a moment mm. frank Mir, this is all your fault dude I did say if you buy me a Lego Star Wars set that that's that's the opening of a floodgate. Yeah. So now I have loads and loads of Star Wars Lego because I did warn you. Can't but buy that, me one set and expect me to stop there. That is kind of cool story as well because anyone knows who Frank Mir is, the fact that he bought you a Lego set in the first place is fucking cool. <laughs> right. Do you know what I mean? My wife bought me a Millennium Falcon and I love my wife to bits, don't get me wrong. But she is not a former heavyweight UFC champion, so. But she, only because she didn't try. <laughs> imagine, imagine! I'm going to tell her when I get downstairs. I'm like, "Hey, Dan says you could have been the UFC heavyweight champion," and she's like, yeah, "Hey, I could, oh, I could, see, I could see states marching towards Frank Mir and him just climbing out of the octagon and handing the belt over." Hey, if she's fuming, if she's got fucking, if she's not happy, that's that mum's there, mate. That comes in. <laughs> Mom's there works. Trust yeah. me. Trust me. One thing I was getting, other than the, the smoking thing I was saying, which is, yeah, smoking's stupid, you shouldn't do it, but we still do it. We're still allowed. It's still legal. The whole thing where people think, they just sort of turn a blind eye to it. Turn a blind eye to 3G, 4G, 5G, because it'll be all right. It'll be all right. It, you never know. We might be the generation that turn into fucking mutant turtles and live in the fucking sewers. I don't know. It's fucking scary. But... Could be, dude. Yeah. I'm, I'm on my walk, on my walk the other day, I was thinking to myself because 
lots of people are missing out on stuff. So like we're going to miss out on our summer holiday. People are going to miss out on their holidays. We're going to miss out on the World Cup or the Euros or whatever it was. What if, and this is completely fucked up, what if we just pause time and days for the people in lockdown? So all the emergency workers, all the heroes out there, all the fucking amazing people that are doing what they're doing, it still pauses for them, but they need to know what day it is, just the mm-hmm. like, deliveries and everything else. But let's say that this all started on, I don't know, the 10th of March. Let's just say when we get to the 17th of July, that now that's the 10th of March and we just start again. So then World Cup or Euros is still on. The UFC events are still going to be the same date. The posters don't need to be reprinted. The tickets are still valid because what I, I know that the, the it might be a bit colder or the weather might be a bit different and Christmas next year is going to be in the middle of summer. But... Why fucking not? Why don't we just pause everything? I guess it would flip everything for Australia as well, because they're normally barbecuing their Christmas dinner, because it's the middle of summer, so we could just flip everything on its head. Just remove six months out the calendar. There you go. like reset time. We just pause for six months. We just pause it. I've already decided that calories are free at this time. Isolation calories don't count. That's true. Which is why there are tubs and tubs of ice cream in the fridge, and that's all we're living off at the moment. Mate, I did make I did make forty chicken wings yesterday because they needed eating that day. So literally, it was only for me and Moo as well because Stace is being really good. I'm not. I mean, I never am. But she uh, she said, "Them wings, them wings need eating." Check out this bucket of like this is half of them. I don't know if you can see them, making me hungry. So I basically I got the wings. They're fresh wings. I seasoned them a bit and then I put them in corn flour and fried them. Fuck me running. They were the tits. My apocalypse diet is the best. <laughs> so 